thanks everyone for coming. Uh, my name is Gerson Aida and tonight in this Facebook and Instagram live weekly weekly session and this is number 28 uh, so I do these live sessions every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and it takes about 15-20 minutes and I usually talk about something related to engineering or the validation qualification validation process and tonight I will be talking about uh, some of the occupations listed by the ANZ SCO uh, which is very important when you are doing when you are doing your qualification validation it's important that your experience that you are using in your career episode it matches the definition of the ANZ SCO because if it doesn't match uh, Engineers Australia may reject your career episode because it doesn't really uh, it's not matching with the definition that they use to classify the occupation that you are using so I had some requests in my Instagram and Facebook and in my telegram group I had actually a lot of interest in uh, engineers they ask me to talk tonight about some of the engineering but uh, there were some 10 types of engineering so I had to choose five tonight and then this Thursday uh, I'm going to do an extra session uh, it's going to be 7 p.m. as well and I'm going to talk about the other five but for those that don't know me uh, my name is Jason Ida I'm the founder of www.engineersinaustralia.com a website to share content of value and relevant information for your journey towards engineering qualification validation in Australia and if you have any question about the validation process please write down in the comments uh, and don't forget visit my site I actually have my new group of online mentoring program the validation formula the registrations are open and I've got a very special offer for the first uh, 20 students and the registration closes this Saturday so hurry up uh, so you can get the special offer for the first 20 students and my first class with the students will be already on the 29th of February so let's get started so first question that uh, people ask me usually is what is ANZ SCO so ANZ SCO is actually a skilled based classification used to classify all occupations and jobs in the Australian and New Zealand labor markets and to do this uh, ANZ SCO identifies a set of occupations covering all jobs in the Australian and New Zealand labor markets and defines this occupation according to their attributes and groups on the basis of their similarity into successively broader categories for statistical and other types of analysis actually it's the Australian Bureau for Statistics that they actually manage this website so the individual object classified in ANZ SEO they are jobs so and basically uh, the assessing entities or authorities they usually use the ANZ SEO definition of occupations to assess uh, the qualification that you are trying to uh, to validate in ANZ SEO occupations are organized into progressively larger groups on the basis of their similarities in terms of both the skill level and the skill specialization and tonight this larger uh, profession we're going to cover the engineering professionals actually uh, and as a definition engineering professionals so engineer professionals are the broader category and then breaking down the engineer professionals they have uh, a whole heap of uh, classifications they've got the uh, civil engineers they've got the chemical engineers industrial engineers mechanical engineers mining engineers 
uh, sorry, when I look to the, this side, I'm looking at the, my Facebook uh, page, and when I look into this side is my Instagram, so not that I'm rude, I'm just trying to, to give attention to two sides. So under the professional or engineering professionals, it covers yes, civil, mechanical, chemical, industrial, process, uh, plant engineers, mining engineers, environmental engineers, uh, naval architects, uh, a whole heap of engineers. And tonight we're going to cover five of those classifications. So as definition, engineering professionals, they design, plan, organize the testing, construction, installation, and maintenance of structures, machines, and their components, and production systems and plants, and plan production schedules, and work procedures to ensure engineering projects are undertaken efficiently in a cost-effective uh, manner. And the first occupation that I'm going to talk about tonight is going to be uh, drum roll, baron, mechanical engineer. Uh, I had a lot of mechanical engineers asking me, please talk about the mechanical engineers. And uh, looks like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, mechanical engineers in my audience, and a lot of mechanical engineers trying to validate their qualification. So I'm going to cover the first one is going to be mechanical engineers. And according to ANZSCO, uh, the mechanical engineers, they plan, they design, they organize, and they oversee the assembly, erection, operation, and maintenance of mechanical and process plant and installations. Uh, and there are some specializations. The specializations of the mechanical engineers they could be air conditioning engineer, heating and ventilation engineer. So if you are going to apply under the mechanical engineer, the ANZ SEO code for that particular occupation is going to be 233512. So 233512 is the code for mechanical engineer according to ANZ SEO. And this is the code that you will be using when you are applying to validate your qualification. Uh, you will be putting that code 233512 uh, in your application with Engineers Australia. And some of the tasks uh, that engineer, mechanical engineers they do, it may include, so if you have this sort of experience, uh, you certainly can use in your career episodes. Uh, so some of the tasks they may include designing mechanical equipment, machines, components, products for manufacture and plant and systems for construction, uh, developing specifications for manufacture and determining materials, equipment, piping, material flows, capacities and layout of plants and systems, uh, establishing standards and policies for installation, modification, quality control, testing, inspection, and maintenance according to engineering principles and safety regulations. Uh, so these are some of the, the things that, according to ANZ SEO, mechanical engineers, they, they do. And if you have any questions, yeah, please type in the comments. And uh, if I know the answer, I'll answer. If I don't know the answer, I'll do some research. And then I'll reply later on to you guys. The second uh, occupation category that I'm going to talk tonight is mining engineers. Uh, mining engineers, they plan and direct the engineering aspects of locating and extracting minerals from the earth. Uh, there is a separate category for petroleum engineers. So if you are applying for mining engineer, as a mining engineer, the code is 233-611, so 233-611. If you are applying under that occupation category, mining engineer, it excludes the petroleum engineer. The petroleum engineer has a different code. But for mining engineer, 233-611, uh, 
you can there are some tasks that include uh, also there is the specialization under mining engineer which could be a process engineer so they are the the mining engineers that they pretty much they do all the extraction and then there is the process engineer for mining as well and some of the tasks uh, it includes conducting preliminary surveys of minerals uh, with prospectors, geologists, geophysists, other mineral scientists and other engineers to determine the resources present, the feasibility of, ex of extracting the reserves and the design and development of extraction process. Also the preparation or preparing operation and project cost estimates and production schedules and reporting progress, production and costs compared to budget. Also determining the most suitable methods of ore extraction, taking account of such factors as depth of overburden and attitude and physical characteristics of deposits and surrounding strata. Also preparing plans for tunnels and chambers location and construction of mine shafts, layout of mine development and application of appropriate mining techniques, often using computer modeling. Also assessing the natural, technical, financial and safety risks associated with the phases of the project, of the project development, construction and operation. Determining the safety of processes, order of ex extraction and safety of mine walls, evaluating the risk of slippage and advising on the prevention of slippage and rockfalls. Also the planning and coordinating or also planning and coordinating the utilization of labor and equipment consistent with efficiency targets, statutes, safety, guide, safety guidelines and environmental conditions. So there's a lot of things that the mining engineers they, they can claim in their experiences. Uh, the third one tonight is the electrical engineers. There's a lot of electrical engineers that they are asking me to talk about electrical engineers tonight. And electrical, engineer, electrical engineers, they design, develop and supervise the manufacturing, installation, operation and maintenance of equipment, machines and systems for the generation, distribution utilization and control of electric power and some of the tasks it can include uh, the planning and design planning and designing power stations and power generation equipment uh, determining the type and arrangement of circuits transformers circuit breakers transmission lines and other equipment Developing products such as electric motors, components, equipments, and appliances. Interpreting specifications, drawings, standards, and regulations relating to electric power equipment and using, uh, organizing and managing resources using the supply of electrical components, machines, appliances, and equipment. Establishing delivery and installation schedules for machines, uh, switch gear, cables and fittings, supervising the operation and maintenance of power stations, transmission and distribution systems and industrial plants, designing and installing control and signaling equipment for road, rail and air traffic, and may specialize in research in areas such as power generation and transmission systems, transformers, uh, switch gear, and electrical motors, telemetry and cultural systems. And electrical engineers also they can be specialized in electrical design engineer, a railway signaling engineer, and signaling and communications engineer. And the fourth one uh, that we're going to be talking tonight is the environmental engineer. And for the environmental engineers, the code according to ANZSCO is 233915 for environmental engineer. And environmental engineers, they assess the impact on air, water, soil and noise levels in the vicinity of engineering projects, 
plans and design equipments and processes for the treatment and safe disposal of waste material and assesses what may cause problems for the environment in the long term. So again, the environmental engineers, 2 And the fifth one tonight is the chemical engineer. And the chemical engineer, the code is 2 so 233 uh, 11 uh, sorry 311 2 and for the chemical engineers they design and prepare specifications for chemical process systems and the construction and operation of commercial scale chemical plants and they supervise industrial processing and fabrication of products undergoing physical and chemical changes and some of the tasks uh, it could include preparing designs for chemical process systems and planning control systems for processes such as those used to remove and separate components, affect chemical changes, test and evaluate fuels, transfer heat and control the storing and handling of solids, liquids and gases. They also can be doing the monitoring, the operation and maintenance of equipment to achieve maximum efficiency under safe operation conditions, uh, diagnosing malfunctions in chemical plants and instituting remedial actions. So tonight we spoke about the chemical engineers, we talk about what environmental engineers they do, we also talk about what electrical engineers they do, uh, we talk about what mining engineers they do and also we talk about what uh, the mechanical engineers they do uh, and my list I also still have uh, just a second I also have in my list uh, that I'm going to talk about next Thursday so this coming Thursday 7 p.m on Facebook and Instagram live session I'm going to do an extra live session and I'm going to talk about the civil engineer I'm going to talk about the electronic engineer and automation engineer and about the industrial and production engineer so there are a few other engineers that um, people ask me to talk about and I would like to just make sure that uh, you guys uh, so if you guys have any what sort of engineer are you so type in the comments what engineer are you so if it's not covered in uh, in here I will certainly try to cover that so please uh, type in I'm just going to write here engineers in Australia dot com slash www.engineersinaustralia.com slash so what sort of engineers are you guys um, Formula. 
Yeah. So I just put in the comments uh, in Facebook and Instagram, the website, my website, so you can have a look at my next mentoring program. As I mentioned before, uh, the registrations are open for the uh, next group of my online mentoring validation formula. If you want to give a step forward towards your quali engineering qualification validation, and I can see that um, I've got uh, a couple of students already here, you know, at least in Instagram. Yeah, thanks guys for attending, and uh, I'm looking forward to keep helping you guys to get your qualification uh, validated here in Australia. So next thursday at 7 pm uh, at the same time i will be talking about then other engineering professions i'm going to be talking about the civil engineer uh, electronic engineer industrial and production engineer and uh, automation engineer so if you are an engineer that I didn't mention and I didn't cover tonight please type in the comments and I will try to, to cover that one there so just for those ones joining now I talk about the mechanical engineer the mining engineer uh, the electrical engineer the environmental engineer and uh, uh, what was the last one uh, the chemical engineer so these were the engineers that I spoke tonight. Uh, I will be making the video available, obviously in Instagram for 24 hours in the stories and my Facebook page will have my video as well. So if you are one of those five engineers tonight and if you missed uh, tonight's session, you can go back and, and watch the replay. If you are a civil engineer, if you are electronic engineer, industrial engineer, production engineer, and automation engineer, I will be talking this coming Thursday, which is the 20th of February, uh, 7 p.m. So, yeah, Daniel, Daniel, Mauricio, he's a civil engineer, he's typing in Facebook. Uh, civil engineer, yeah, it's a fellow civil engineer. I'm also a civil engineer. I will be talking about the civil engineer this coming Thursday, 7 p.m. Brisbane time. And so please make sure that you, you participate this coming Thursday. And if you want to have a look at my online mentoring program, which is uh, on now, uh, the website is in the comments www.engineersinaustralia.com slash validation formula it's an online mentoring program that I help and I teach engineers how to better prepare your CDR uh, to make your journey a little bit easier towards your qualification validation which can lead to your life transformation so if you guys have any questions, uh, you can ask. If not, uh, we'll be finishing for tonight. And then I will see you this coming Thursday. And don't forget the registrations for my online mentoring program. They close this Saturday. So Saturday I'm closing the registrations because the classes, they're going to start already uh, on the 29th of February. So if there's no questions i will thank you very much guys for your participation tonight and uh, i'll see you there on thursday see ya and bye bye